Thailand remains in a period of deep mourning, of dark colors and somber mood. It's also a period of political sensitivity. The military government has issued media guidelines. Newspapers must not print criticism or analysis related to the king's death. TV channels must simulcast special programs when instructed. It is natural for, for people to look for information. What's going to happen next? When is the, how is the royal succession going to happen? And that's not available in the, except for the very sparse uh, information coming from the top government officials. Perhaps the most delicate subject is the delayed succession of the crown prince. His popularity in the past hasn't matched that of his late father. This week, the prime minister said the succession could take place any time after the first 15 days of mourning. Later on, okay, when people um, can can control their their mind, they control their their emotion, you know, uh, we can they can start to know what's going on after this. That would be step by step. This is. Uh, crisis management. Anyone looking for foreign media to fill the gap on one of the main cable networks has regularly been seeing this instead. The company, True Vision, has been recruiting online for students to watch and help block Al Jazeera and the BBC. True Vision told us it was merely following the policy set out by the government broadcasting regulator. The regulator says it's issued no specific instructions to censor foreign media. It all speaks to the current climate of control and self-censorship. It's a familiar concern at Voice TV, owned by the family of the exiled former Prime Minister Taksin Shinawat, a long-time enemy of the military government. The host of the show, The Daily Dose, says ever since the 2014 coup, too big a dose of critical opinion could lose his station its government-issued license. Previously, I was kind of like, I was kind of seen as the uncensored guy. Uh, but I have had to, to adjust my tone uh, in light of the circumstances and the, the powers that the junta has. In Bangkok, workers have been changing public portraits of the king for images more appropriate to the year of national mourning. Every effort is also being made to ensure the media coverage of this critically important period is also deemed appropriate. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.